Welcome back to Good Morning Tri-State at 824, a live look at downtown Cincinnati. 38 degrees. We're talking about a chilly forecast. We'll have more on that coming up. But in the meantime, it is time for Pet Pals. Now, if you tuned in last week for Pet Pals, you got to meet little Ferdinand. We are very happy to tell you this morning, Ferdinand is warm, happy, and well-loved with his new family. He was adopted shortly after he was on the show last week. And I have a very, very good feeling that the pets we have on today's show will have the same luck. I'm joined by Hannah and Meg from Animal Friends Humane Society. Thanks so much for joining us. Before we get into holiday pet hazards, Let's talk about the beautiful pets that you have here for adoption. Well, Hannah is holding Norman, and Norman is a three-year-old. He, he knows his name, <laughs> obviously. You're talking about me. He is a three-year-old poodle mix, um, and he um, came to us from an owner who couldn't care for him any longer. So he is housebroken and crate trained, um, knows your basic commands, is good around children. So he's ready to go. And I mean, really, what more can you ask for? <laughs> true. And with the poodle coat, you get more of that hypoallergenic, so that's great. And over here we have Tiger. Tiger is a 10 week old oh, kitten. Cool. And my favorite attribute that Tiger has are his thumbs. He's got little mittens. Um, you might not be able to see them, but he has his little mitten paws. That yeah, are there just you go. So there you go. <laughs> they are so cute. Um, and so he is also waiting for his forever home. And we're hoping both will be in a home for the holidays. <laughs> oh, there's no doubt they will be. Um, so let's talk about holiday pet hazards. Yes, when you're decorating your house for the holidays, there's some things to keep in mind if you have pets in the household. Specifically, ornaments or tinsel, um, shiny things, ribbons, all of those are very enticing to pets and they can be an ingestion hazard or a choking hazard. Um, if they do ingest those, it's definitely critical to get them to a vet as soon as possible. Holiday lighting can also be an issue. Mm -hmm. um, cats and, and kittens like to chew yes, on that, maybe. So do. you're, yes, you you're running the risk of having a potential shock hazard. And there's definitely some. Uh, Plants around your house, holly and poinsettias, all of those have um, issues that can cause vomiting or diarrhea. So there's definitely things you should be aware of as you're setting up for the holidays to ensure that your pets are going to be safe with you while you all enjoy uh, time with friends and family. Yeah, Norman's like, not me. That's that's I'm not the one. Uh, so where can people find more about uh, these pets? Um, both of these guys will be up for adoption today at Animal Friends. We're at 1820 Princeton Road, or you can visit our website, which is animalfriendshs.org. Awesome. So Hannah and Meg, thanks for joining us. And Tiger, no. as well as Norman, no. they will definitely find some good homes. So we hope so. Thanks a lot. All right. For more information on uh, where you can adopt some of these animals, you can go to WCPO.com and also our adoption hotline, 513-867-5727. Well, we've got more news coming up after the break. A holiday tradition is back here in the Tri-State where you can witness some of the most festive dogs right here at home.